Hello everyone, this is of course Bingbox, and today we have another Let's Demo. Today we're doing Thief, the new one of course. And right now what you're seeing here is the uh, native benchmarking utility. Now I set this to the highest setting, which is very high for the graphics. And right now it's basically just running an automatic benchmarking tool just like you saw in Bioshock Infinite. And in the top left you can see the game's minimum, maximum, and average FPS. And in the top right, I've moved the FPS counter from my recording program, uh, and you can see the difference there. They're pretty much the same, matches up pretty evenly, and uh, you see that the FPS for very high is actually pretty low. Uh, you can't really get too high of FPS on this computer, on the MSI GS60 Pro with the 870M uh, GTX graphics card. So... I'll, I'll walk you guys through the first part of the game right after this to show you guys that uh, it's not really possible to run on very high, not with satisfactory uh, FPS. So right now it's loading, it's finishing up, and soon you will see the benchmark results. Minimum FPS was 4, that's the lowest it got. Uh, but that could have been during the loading times. Maximum FPS was 45.7. And, uh, you know... Average is about 30s. Okay, so here we're going to go into the graphics, and that was at the preset again. It's very high. But for the game itself, we're going to turn it to high, actually. Okay, so here we're going to load a new game. Okay, so here we are. We're loading a new game right here. And you'll see that while I'm playing through, I will switch from high to very high to high to very high, just so you guys can see the difference. Honestly, for me, I couldn't really tell a huge difference between these two. And personally, having it on high and having those extra frames per second, definitely worth it. So we're just going to play through the first part of this game. All of you, or many of you, probably have seen this anyway from demos. And uh, I think it's a really good way to show off the game. And show off the lighting, and show off all the graphics that they really put into this game. A lot of the art is really, really good. If you have to ask, you can't afford it. But then I suppose none of that matters when you're me. After all. Okay, so here we are. We're starting the game. It's starting to stutter a little bit. Again, I am recording. There aren't that many stutters in game uh, when I'm not recording. So don't worry about that. It just started stuttering just a little bit as I was starting the game here. Okay, so the, the room looks really, really beautiful. It's a really, really good first room to come into. It's really, really cool. And the textures look awesome. Everything, all the art and all the graphics look really good. And again, this is on high. This is on the high setting that I switched to right before I started the game. Let's make it a little more cozy in here. So as you can see, the lighting and a little bit of fog and mist and the dust in the room. Now here I'm going to switch into other graphics uh, because I was looking at the couch and I was like, okay, this looks good. Let's look at the couch again with the very high graphics. Looks pretty much the same. The, sh the shadows are a little bit deeper and the textures are a little bit more crisp and a little bit deeper. But to be honest, for me, I couldn't really see too big of a difference, especially when you're really into the game and you're really concentrating on the gameplay. You don't have a lot of time to look around at the shadows and the depth of the textures. Okay, so here I'm just going through the motions, just showing you guys what the game looks like, how it moves around. I think a lot of the animations are really cool and they spend a lot of time on just making the animations look really realistic, uh, other than him grabbing things so quickly uh, and without making noise. But that's not the point. I think going through the motions is really important, just so you guys can see. Now, as you can say, see here, just even looking at the shadow on the desk here, the FPS went down to the 30s. And I was really surprised by this, because nothing's really even happening here. So I switched to, the, uh, to high again, resume, and it jumped up to above 40s to the 50s at some points. So I really don't think for that little bit of a difference that the FPS drop is really worth it, just so you can say that you started or you played on very high. 
Look at this. This is on high settings and the game looks fantastic. I was looking at the windows and things like this and I just couldn't really tell the difference between the high and very high, to be honest. Sometimes when it's loading in between sessions, you'll see that it stutters a little bit. That's probably because I'm recording and partly because, you know, sometimes it just stutters. Okay, so here's the game and HUD settings. Nothing new here, really. Nothing to worry about. You can customize that to your own liking. Here we have VSync on double buffer instead of triple buffer because honestly, I don't think we really need that high of VSync. Uh, looks good already. 1920 by 1080, 60 hertz. And here are the graphics, okay? Brightness, field of view, okay? Set at 90, it goes up to 110. And the preset is high, so all those things are set to high. This room looks awesome. The light moving in and out of this room looks really, really good. We're gonna look at this, uh, this little curtain here. And I was just looking at his arms and looking at the curtain. I was seeing what the difference was between high and very high and we're looking at this right now again at high and then we're going to switch to very high and you'll notice that yes the textures are a little bit deeper when you put them to very high and yes they do look very good uh but you know it's really not that much of a difference and as you'll see here we're going to walk through this room and we're going to go to the painting in the back at very high and everything looks yes it looks fantastic but Some as you can see, the dip in the frame rates, you know, it's really intense. And things are a little shimmery, too, when you're in the very high setting. So you can see there is a little bit of uh, rough edges there on the painting, too. See a little bit of the jaggies. Now this wood, I'll look at right now, and I'm going to look back again after I turn back to very high, or back to high. And the wood there looks really fantastic. The textures looks super deep and the wood looks really ingrained. It's really, really nice. And now we have a close up of his hands and I'm just gonna move around this painting just a few times just so you guys can see the animation and see the lines, right? You guys can still see a little bit of the shininess from the edges of this painting and a little bit of the jaggedness. But yes, it does look a little bit better than high. Uh, to be honest though, I think high will do the job perfectly fine as you'll see. See, not much of a difference. In fact, honestly, I think there was less jaggies when you went back to high, so I don't know what the point of that was, but... And just going through the motions, just so, I, so you guys can see, you know, all the little animations, all the little intricacies of his hands moving and everything. What the? Again, as you can see, the... The frame rates are pretty good and the animations are really, really smooth. Again, I am recording, so don't worry so much about that. The the recording is slowing it down just a few frames. Looking again at the wood here. Still looks awesome. You can hardly tell the difference. Really, really cool scene here. Okay, we're just going to grab the rope arrow and uh, jump up over here. Wow. Looks really, really, really there. good. Of course it is. Care to make a little more noise next time? How else would you know it was me? Basso did I do want to know more about this character. This, right? Well, I showed up, so what do you think? <laughs> I think you haven't changed a bit. Come on, it'll be just like old times. They definitely used to be like playmates or something like that. <laughs> A little choppy here and there, running through here. Again, it is loading some of the level. Loading some of those textures in. Looks really cool. 
The woodwork on this is really awesome. And then suddenly it turns into night. This part, it's loading level, I think, so that's why it's choppy. It was choppy even without recording, but much less this. choppy, definitely. Did you pick that route because it was fast or because he thought it'd be fun? Can it be both? Come on, let's get Basso his commission. Light gem, okay. And sorry guys, if I'm talking while they're talking, this isn't a playthrough. Just to show you guys the capabilities of the graphics on this computer. I don't know, I left that there. You should get yourself one of these. See you on the other side. Looks like I won't be going that way. Let's finish unloading before summer's day is over. Why not? Just look at the bricks on there. They really, really look awesome. And the water, the reflections. The lighting on those trees and the detail on those arches really really nice now we're going to switch back to uh sorry i'm going to switch back to the ultra high or super high very high whatever as you can see here it's already stuttering just a little bit and honestly i don't think it's really that big of a difference you know Jealous of the claw? I made it myself. I'm sure the watch will be very impressed. They'll certainly hear us coming. They'll have to catch me first. Just be aware of your surroundings. The lighting on that tube looks really sights, awesome. Garrett. It's about taking in the loot. Exactly. It's not about taking in the sights, it's about you taking in the loot. Steal, right? I mean, this game looks awesome. If you can play this on high already on this computer, you should be proud because this is such There's a great game Garrett, and they did put a lot of effort in the graphics. Here you'll see it stutters really terribly. Uh, and this is because it's on the very high setting. I'm gonna change it back to the high again, just so you guys can see a difference. And immediately you can see a performance boost through this. The texture filtering is at four times on high as opposed to eight times on very high. Uh, but, you know, I mean, it's a small sacrifice to make in my opinion because the game just Look looks awesome still. <sighs> You know, you Ooh, really don't have to worry about town? anything. Why did we stop doing this again? <laughs> Do you really need to ask? The motion of taking out those candles. Just the general lighting and the shadows of all his little Days movements and everything. In places where I'm not a little bit of smoke in the distance. There's a lot of those places. But I mean, honestly, this thing, as you can see in the top right, the frame rate goes between, you know, 60s because the V-Sync is on. Uh, 61, 62-ish. And then it goes down to, I don't know, I mean, 40s, you know, in, in some really intense scenes. And then sometimes it does slow down when it's loading. Maybe to the mid to low 30s. That does happen sometimes, I will admit. Um, but to be honest, most of the game I'm sure will be playable on these settings. In this neighborhood. I think if you went a little lower, the game wouldn't be as pretty, of course, but you can definitely get some higher frame rate. This is probably the highest I would go on this computer. Uh, definitely not playing on very high. High is definitely the way to go. See, the windows don't really look any different, you know, as when it was on very high versus high.
how much did you steal? <laughs> it's not how much you steal. It's what you steal. And how you steal it. As you can see, the game still looks really, really great. I'm really impressed by this, and I'm really excited to play this game later. If you guys want me to play, you know, uh, Let's Play or walk through or something about something with this, uh, just leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see. Otherwise, I'd just be playing this game by myself anyway, so. <laughs> Worried? Yes. Okay, so this is uh, going to be the end of the video down here. Uh, this is Bingbox. Leave a like down below if you like it. Leave a dislike if you don't like it. Subscribe for more videos in the future and let me know which games you want to see. There are more games coming, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video.